Hey everybody, welcome back to another Eric Eats Quick Eats. Today we're going to make some taco stuffed pasta shells. And then we're going to cook them up nice and crispy in the air fryer. Just a few simple ingredients will go into this tasty snack. We got our Beyond Meat beefless crumbles, a whole bunch of cheese, some taco seasoning, and of course, our Bertoli pasta shells. Let's get to cooking. A lot of you might be wondering if the pasta shells are vegan. Well, were they were meant to be or not, they are. Uh, they are not gluten-free, however. They are made of mostly wheat, flour, and water. Now that we got our pasta shells cooled off, we're gonna go ahead and start stuffing. Once we got a pasta shell filled, we're gonna double wrap it to keep the ingredients in, and we're gonna make as many as we can so we can fill up that air fryer with all that delicious taco tasty goodness. Once we got them placed and stacked, we're going to give them just a light spray so they get extra crispy and golden brown when they're inside the fryer. And there we go. We got them in. We're going to close her up nice and tight. I'm setting the temperature to 400 degrees and going to set the timer for 15 to 20 minutes. You might go ahead and check yours every five minutes or so just in case your air fryer burns a little hotter than mine. While those are crisping up, we're gonna make a little sauce for the topping later on. We're gonna start with tofuti, better than sour cream. A couple of spoonfuls of that. They're gonna add some follow your heart veganaise. A couple of spoonfuls of that, just a dash or two of some lime juice, and then go ahead and add in a full packet of your taco seasoning. Then you're gonna stir that up real good. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. That is some delicious taco sauce goodness. Mm. Oh, sounds like they're done. Let's go get those crispy gems out of there and see what we got. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. So much yum right there in front of you. Let's go ahead and make a pretty plate, huh? A couple of dollops of that sauce. Gonna go ahead and chop up some green onions and throw those right on top. Boom, it's like magic, ready to serve. And there you go, kids. If this looks good to you, give it a try, then let me know what you think. In the meantime, if you like what you saw, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you do, I'll see you on the flip side. Thanks for watching.